This is the video for lesson 15 on my website, Word Problems Involving Subtraction. As I mentioned in previous lessons, most students have a lot of difficulty with word problems, and the way to get better at them is to do as many of them as you possibly can. Now in this lesson you're told that the problems all involve subtraction, but of course normally you won't be told what operation is involved, and you'll have to look for keywords or key phrases that will help you. Let's take a look at this first problem. John has 12 apples and he gives away 5 of them. How many apples does he have left? Well, I see two key phrases that can possibly help us. Gives away usually implies subtraction because we're starting with a certain number of items and then some of them are going away. They're being subtracted. Have left might imply subtraction, but we have to be very careful. We have to look at the rest of the problem to see if it really means subtraction because it could potentially mean something else. But in this case we are dealing with a subtraction problem and we'll simply do 12 minus 5 to get 7. Of course this is a very basic problem but this is just an early lesson. Later we'll move on to harder problems. Let's take a look at this problem. What is the difference between 17 and 38? Now here you have to know what they mean by difference. In subtraction when we subtract, the answer that we get is called the difference. That's something that you simply have to memorize. Now, for a, prob for a problem like this, what we want to do is we want to do the larger number minus the smaller number. And at this point, I'll avoid getting into a detailed discussion about when we might do the opposite. But to find the difference between two numbers, we always do largest, larger number minus smaller number. So I'll simply do 38 minus 17 I'll line up the numbers like this this time. And we simply get 21 as our answer. That's the difference between those two numbers. We subtract to find the answer. Let's look at this problem. Jennifer has 18 apples and Mike has 12. How many more apples does Jennifer have than Mike? Now you have to be careful. I'm going to underline how many more that might look to you like addition. But what we really need to figure out, just like we did in the previous problem, is really the difference between Jennifer's apples and Mike's apples. And that's how we'll find out how many more she has. So here we'll simply do 18 minus 12 to get 6. And that's our answer. This is just a very basic introduction to subtraction word problems. In later lessons, we'll do word problems involving other operations. And of course, we'll move on to more complicated word problems.